Governor Ron DeSantis is about to announce his bid for the White House in about an hour. The governor is expected to make this announcement on Twitter while speaking with Elon Musk. And it has been a whirlwind day of events leading up to his big announcement. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live to show us. Glenna. And getting world windier, we're meeting some donors on their way into the Four Seasons and we are watching the protesters gather and get even bigger across Brickell from the hotel. This crowd has been steadily growing, steadily getting louder. There are supporters too, though, ahead of that first of its kind 6 p.m. announcement for president the governor plans to make on Twitter. Racist, sexist, anti-gay. Ron DeSantis, go away! The opposition is loud. Oh. That was something that, that we were very proud to do. With. Some of it rolling. Donors for Ron DeSantis are gathering. As of midday Wednesday, the paperwork makes it official. Do I have the courage? Is it worth the sacrifice? This dramatic new video launched as part of a well-strategized run-up to today's official launch. I appreciate uh, Florida's governor started his day with state duties in Tallahassee overseeing the clemency board and ends his day in Miami with the worst kept secret announcement or one perhaps leaked as such by design. It's a first of its kind. The governor announcing his bid for the White House streaming on Twitter spaces with an increasingly political Twitter CEO Elon Musk and his 140 million plus followers. This billboard truck has been circling Brickell all afternoon, blasting newscasts of DeSantis' decisions and positions most controversial to his opponents. The official launch is almost anticlimactic. The governor has been acting like a national candidate for months, traveling the country for appearances, and in the last two weeks, Iowa and New Hampshire, the first primary contests that could make or break his momentum. And we have a little bit of news to report. Within the last hour, we got the list of the bills that the governor signs in his capacity as Florida governor. And of the 20 that he signed today is that big elections bill. And a portion of that elections bill is the reversal of Florida's resign to run law, which actually paves the way for himself to run for president without resigning as Florida governor. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami today, Local 10 News. Okay, Glenna, thank you. And stay with Local 10 on air and online as we await the governor's announcement on Twitter Spaces tonight at 6 o'clock.